So guys, we're out here in the Hunter Classic once again, and today we are right back into the trophy hunting series. As you can see, we've got a good start from last time on typical trails, and today we're here on Hirschfeld. And so I've got a bit of a weird plan for this, because I want to get geese done. Hopefully this episode we can get two decent geese, but I'm going to do it in a bit of a weird way. I'm actually going to hunt down here first. I'm going to fast travel to this tent, see if we get any red deer or anything else down there. And then later on, we're going to walk up through these fields, cut up into here. And I'll probably try to find a way... Actually, I'd have to go up above the bridge, I guess. And I'm going to try to see the goose decoys from that side, see if there's any big ones or rares. And then we'll probably end it out with a goose hunt just with the shotguns. So it looks like we'll be starting off with a pretty small female red fog, 0 to 5 kg and 7 to 14 square estimate. I've got the snake bite for anything small. So she should be stopping. I called somewhere in that area. See if she'll actually completely stop. There we go. And I think I got a single lung looking at that. So she shouldn't be going really far at all. And she is down right there, so we'll hang out in the stand, we'll do some calling for red deer, anything else that might come in, and then we'll move on. So we sat here a while with no calls, so we're going to grab our fox and move on, but just to look at the weapons we have, of course you saw the snake bite already. I've got the 22 Plinkington for any geese or pheasants that we have along the way, and I did bring the 50 inline muzzleloading pistol, so we might use that a little bit on red deer. And I definitely want to try it on roe deer with the 45 uh, caliber bullets, I've only used them a little bit so far. But not quite the start we had last time, an 8.6 fox, definitely nothing worth mounting, but I do want to get one of each uh, of the predator species for the medium platform. So we have a gray wolf already, ideally I want a red fox from this map and an arctic fox from White Rhyme Ridge. And already we're on to a pretty nice looking red deer stag. He's not a monster, 240 to 265, so probably in the 240s, but definitely not bad. Another pretty decent start after a pathetic red fox, but we'll take this guy with the inline muzzle loading pistol. And he is down. We got some females running off, but got the one we wanted. I think he's, like, probably 245-ish. I'll probably end up mounting him just to get a baseline for Red Deer. Maybe we can beat him somewhere down the line, but definitely not a bad stag. He is a 247 score, double lung liver shot at 41 meters. A pretty good start to this hunt as well. Definitely not a bad looking stag. We're going to mount him and send him to the trophy lodge just so we have a baseline Red Deer. I'm hoping we can get a 260s or 270s at some point during this series, but I want to have something that I need to beat. We've just got some random geese sleeping out here, and the only ones I haven't been able to spot is the middle one here and this one on the right. The one on the right kind of looks decent, so I should probably take that one out, and then we'll see if we can hit some of the others while they fly. Actually, I didn't even see that one. Let's just check what that one weighs. It's nothing special, so let's go for this one. Oh, we didn't even wake him up. All right, if we do this slow, we can probably take them all then. If we just take our time in between harvests. Oh, that was kind of weird. That one just started spinning randomly. Yeah, so I think as long as I don't alert them and take my time between shots, we should be okay to just drop all of them in case I missed anything. But this middle one was the other one I haven't spotted yet, so... Oh. I thought it was facing the other way. I missed that time, but... I'm gonna just try because the middle one's the last one I don't know about. Now that I've got my breath back. Just gonna... Yeah, I thought so. Alright. None of the others were anything special, but I wanted to see if I could do it more quickly. And of course, I alerted them immediately. I'm not going to worry about air shots. We know they're not special. I'll save the ammo for the goose hunt later. So 65-70 for the first one. That's actually not too bad. I'm guessing that might be the best one. 51-82 on that one and the back one. 47-92 and I might have shot one over here. Or is this just a track? Uh, yeah, just a track. So we just took the three. This might be a decent red fox. I didn't realize he was coming in. I was trying to call in one from the other side. 22 to 29 score estimate you may have seen there. I don't know if I caught a lung regardless. Even a body shot fox does not run that far, but we must have single lunged him, which is definitely good because we had a few pheasants calling over there. I didn't even think of it. I guess I could actually mount pheasants uh, on the bird plaques. I've been thinking of just geese, but pheasants are an option as well. You hear one of the males calling right now, so I'm going to mark that on my map. I just went through there. Must have walked towards where I came from, but anyway, this might be a kind of a, a baseline fox. Maybe if it's 25 plus, I think I'll mount it. And there's a pretty good bet, 22 to 29. And unfortunately, he is right at the bottom of that. 23.951. Should I mount that? I don't know. I think I might just to get a baseline. I'm not going to actually trophy shot. I just need to go into trophy shot to get to mount him because I have the option turned off unless I go to trophy shots, but let's go check out these pheasants. There is one of our pheasants right there. I was wondering where that was hiding. I guess we'll just use the 22. Whoa. <laughs> I don't usually do that up close. It flew away. I think it was 23 to 26. Not a monster, but wanted to take it out. 22.4, so another animal right at the bottom of the score estimate. 
that is a male wild boar. We should probably check that out. So I just realized I did not bring my wild boar collar, but he is literally trotting right in anyway. And he's not bad, 640 to 900. And that should be him down. He's definitely not a mounter. I would definitely want a thousand plus uh, to mount a hog. It was the same for or a boar, rather. It was the same for a feral hog on Pickabeam Bay. Uh, and Ruger Bayou last time. I just don't like the look of the mounted, so I really want a good one if I'm going to mount it. But a 782 score for this guy, a brain shot at 15 meters, considering I didn't have the color, that wasn't bad. There's a lot of geese out here, so hopefully one of them is big or rare. I'm going to take some time, try to spot them all, make sure I've seen all these score estimates, and then we'll decide which one we want to take. We even got more landing here in the field. Oh, okay. Uh, low weight estimate, though. That's probably an 8,000, 7.4 to 8.2, a 7,700 minimum. I'm gonna mark that one. That's the one I'm gonna look at right now. This guy is the best I've seen. He looks a fair amount bigger than the one beside him, so I guess that definitely helps. And if I get out the correct weapon, let's see if we can drop him. Let's make sure that is the one right there. And he is down. So I'm probably gonna... Actually, I'll let these ones break. Make sure there's no big ones there. If they do break, I'll do... Actually, I don't have my calls, so... Uh, that's probably not all that likely, but there's a few back behind the hills I want to check. There we go, 8.1 to 8.8 .8 and 7,700 to 9,000. That is so lucky that they didn't spook when I was shooting the other ones. Let's try to make sure we know which one we're looking at. It is him right there, and I'm going to scoot back over so I can see again. So that is our goose. Let's go ahead and go for the shot while he's on the ground. Dropped him, and we'll spot the rest of them because I haven't gotten to spot them all yet. So I've not seen anything else decent. We're probably just going to try to take these two and then go grab our big ones. Ooh, just missed the head. There we go. Probably next shot. I'm gonna go grab the others. There was a, like, semi-decent looking pheasant out in the field. I don't know if he's still there. Maybe we'll just look at these ones. Uh, nothing that looks rare, so I just want to go see what the size of the ones we shot are. At this point, I don't actually remember which one is which, but I know these two are the biggest ones that we had, so we'll grab this one first. That's a good one. 85.75. That's definitely one to go to the lodge. Not bad at all. One of my better geese that I've got mounted in general. And the other one, which I'm kind of hoping is going to be 8,000 plus as well, but we'll see. And it is a 8,076, so I think we'll mount that one as well just for the baseline. Maybe we can get another 8,000 plus during this series, but I'm really glad to get two in one hunt. I don't think we'll trophy shot that one, though. We'll just mount him. So that is three things mounted so far, and I think I just saw a pheasant there. Just a female, though. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we're probably going to go hunt some other areas and then come back and do the same thing uh, here for the geese at the end. I know the other goose or two that we shot aren't anything special, so I'm not even going to show picking them up. We'll just grab them and move on. We've got another rooster pheasant out here, although I'm not really sure I'd mount one now unless it's like 28 plus since we got the two nice geese. But we will take them out and get them out of the way for any future male pheasant calls. He is down. I don't know why the last one we shot like flew away like that. Just shot out of the scope because he did a more, I don't, I don't know, accurate death animation. But here he is with a max of 26. He's definitely not going to be anything worth mounting. But 22.9, wasn't that like exactly what the last one scored? I don't know. But regardless, we are going to move on up to the fields up here. So hopefully we can get some wild boar and maybe red deer. We've got a few male pheasants out here in this field. This is the biggest one I've seen. 23 to 29, so I guess we'll take him. Again, I don't think he's that big. His tail doesn't look anything too special. We have to aim a little bit low for this. Guess we'll get that one as well. I thought he'd fly away when we shot the first one since he was that close, but we'll definitely take it. So here is our first pheasant, and we just had a roe deer buck call out, so I want to check that out. 24.5 for this guy, so we're getting a little better, and while we grow, go grab our other pheasant, I want to put the 45s into the inline muzzleloader. I've not yet shot a road deer with the 45s. 23.4 for this guy, so another decent one at least. Our road deer buck is on his way. He's definitely nothing special. 82, 130. But we'll take him with the inline muzzleloader 45s. It's only going to be like my second shot with the 45s overall. That's a much bigger one. We're going to shoot that one. See if we can hit him on the run. That would have been close. I knew I had a warning call that seemed too far away, but... Glad I saw that. Let's see if we hit him. I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure we shot just over him, but that's when we got to follow because that looked big. He actually stopped here just across the water. Let's see what we got for a score on him. 155 to 210. That is definitely not bad, and I'm pretty sure we can probably get him from here. Even if it's a body hit, I imagine he will go down. I don't know what kind of penetration we'll get at that kind of range, but that should be a good hit. Let's see if he dropped. Uh, nope, but there's blood there, so I better mark that. And hopefully he'll go down pretty quickly. 
Looks like we penetrated to one lung, so he's not going to be far from here at all. In fact, he barely went anywhere. But let's see what we got here. He should be pretty decent. Left lung shot and a 162 score, so that's not quite big enough, I don't think, to mount a road here. Since we have uh, Timbergold Trails for Mule Deer and White, White Rhyme Ridge for both Doll Sheep and um, Sitka Deer, I definitely don't want to mount a smallish road here. So we've got a few wild boar here. This is the only male that I've seen. He is 34 meters away and definitely nothing special, 530 to 790, but... I kind of started calling them in, so I guess at this point I have to at least try to take them out. I hope that female doesn't see us, or at least gives me a chance to shoot this guy. That should be a solid lung hit. I think with a double lung they really don't run that far. We'll see if he goes down. Apparently not double lung. Hopefully single then. We'll just take a look here at the blood. It is a single lung, so he'll probably be dropping the other end of the field. So we didn't make it too far, he's right here in front of us, and we had another male wild boar call out, so I just loaded the 50 caliber bullets once again, and we're gonna grab this guy, then just lay here in the brush and call the other one in. So shoulder blade, right lung shot on this guy, 550 score, definitely nothing special. Unfortunately, this guy is not even close to anything decent. 400 to 660, we'll just take him with the muzzleloading pistol and move on. I think we're gonna start making our way back to the goose setup. I saw he dropped there. That was actually pretty decent for the uh, pistol to drop him. But yeah, we're going to head back to the goose setup. We're going to hunt around there a little bit more. I probably shouldn't have mounted the second one, to be quite honest, uh, until we finish. But didn't really think of that at the time. So 571 for this guy and a double lung shot at 35 meters. I thought he was a little further away than that, but still not bad. So for whatever reason, there were no geese in the field and I really didn't get any flying ever. I had one flock that didn't break. So I thought we just ended here. We had a pretty decent hunt. We've got a new red deer two geese and our red fox so next time we come here to Hirschfeld we definitely have some animals to try to beat I don't know if we'll be able to beat this 8577 goose though that one was really really good but with that thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did and I'll see you in the next one